Ladies and gentlemen, VIP Promotions, in association with the City of Hull Boxing Club, proudly sponsored by Elite Auto Works Car Repairs, live on VIPBoxing.tv, proudly present this, the final contest of the evening. Six three-minute rounds of a middleweight contest sponsored by PBS Construction. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the mustard colored shorts trimmed with black. At the weight, he scaled 11 stone, one pound. Tonight, he takes part in his 166th professional contest. Here is a young man, highly respected from Atherton, William Warby Warburton. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the red, black, white, and silver colored shorts. At the weight, he scaled 11 stone, six pounds. From 14 contests, he has seven wins. Four of those wins coming by way of knockouts, five defeats, two draws. He comes to the ring this evening as the current and reigning Central Area Super Welterweight Champion, presenting from Hull, via his homeland of Lithuania, Evaldas Lightning Kosakas. Timekeeper at the bell, Peter Humphrey. Referee in charge of the action star referee, Mr. Michael Alexander from South Yorkshire. Six three-minute rounds. Right, lads, you both know the rules, so let's just have a good clean fight, okay? Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, okay? Close gloves. Second out, around one. Here comes uh, Avaldas Corsicus, looking to spoil William Warburton's birthday. What an advert he... Uh, Corsicus is for turning your career around after a rocky start. You know, he, he, I think he lost five of his first nine. Yeah, it'll be something, something like that. Yeah, the way he's turning it around. And you see him sort of got better every fight as well. Every time, every last couple of fights I've seen him in, you see him sort of got better and better and better. He's got some power behind him as well. Good at it and kid. Picks up some good wins as well. You know, a, a draw with Shane Singleton, that's a good yeah. result. Then going over to beat Jack Sellers, who was the home guy and quite heavily favoured. And then a spectacular knockout of Chris Jenkins. And last time, it's, it's been some turnaround. This arguably might end up being his toughest test of a lot, though. William Warburton can really yeah. fight. Yeah, he can. He's a tough, durable kid as well, is Warburton. Um, I yeah. I remember that Shane Singleton fight. And I remember looking at his record and we turned up and everyone thought Singleton had, had cruised, really. And, Avaldus just, he turned up and he looked really, really good that night and it seemed to have catapulted his career from there. But like you said, a William Warburton that wants to win in there is a very dangerous fighter. Yeah, a bit of a form guide. Warburton shot. Ooh, nice attack here from Avaldas. So he fancies it in this first round. Sure, I'm back on him there. Where you see William looking that disorganised. But a bit of a form guy. Last time out, we saw William. Well, he, he took Lloyd Campbell to school, didn't he, really? Yeah. You know, the Viking, previously unbeaten, and William was brilliant that night. But Avaldas has given him all he can handle in this first round. So he's landing a lot of shots to Warburton's body as well. A lot of them landing flush as well. So he's working at head and locking the body, working those hooks, uppercuts in down, down the pipe. So it's only so much Warburton can take. We saw earlier on with Matty Wiggles went for those body shots. They do take the toll eventually. Really good how Avaldus has like latched onto the community here in Hull as well, isn't it? You know, he's, he's got a good support. Oh, I definitely say the people of Hull have really taken him as one of their own, really. So he's doing a lot of his training out of the city and obviously mo moving across. But yeah, his popularity across the city is, he really has catapulted recently as well.
Oh, you can use all the um, cliches about Eastern Europeans, can't you? You know, he'll be fit, he'll be strong. He's also nice and loose, lots of feints. He is, yeah, nice and relaxed. Looks like he's enjoying himself in there as well. So you say, nice and relaxed, nice and loose. Uh, dropping his hands a little bit, which we didn't see last time out when he won his belt. Um, so it looks like he's enjoying this fight, unloading on Warburton when he's trapped on the ropes, working well on the inside, but also working well behind his boxing. Good first round for Ivaldez, though. Talking of cliché, did you see Macaulay McGowan's Facebook statuses this week? Yeah, he's, he's, he's a card Macaulay, isn't he? Mm. He was good. You spot on as well with most of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got half of them from us, to be fair. <laughs> where would we be? Where would we be? Corners, ten cliche? seconds. <laughs> be a lot of dead air. Wouldn't yeah, it? be very, very <laughs> quiet. <laughs> seconds out. Round two. William has a look early on in these fights, you know, and see if there's anything he can take advantage of, see if he might be able to sneak out a win, but I don't think he got much to, much nah. to get a hold of there. Tell you it's a good, very good first on him from Evaldez. I think he can't one Andy, Martin shots Warburton landed on him. So there's not much opportunity there. Every time Warburton throws a shot, so Evaldez has taken him on the gloves or is moving. Very, very tough night for Warburton so far. But you say it's boxing, the division they're in only takes one punch to turn a fight around. So both kids can dig it a bit, both tough kids, but Saval is on the front foot now, working really well tonight. Just walking down inside the corner, behind that jab, little feints, little dips and slips, gets him in the corner, gets him where he wants to, and then he really is unloading, taking the most of his chances when he's there. Yeah, See, really picking it, there we go. Really nice style to him, isn't it? He? You know, he holds himself well, his feet are good. Lots of feints, lots to like about um, Corsicus. Yeah, definitely. And he's going to be under underrated, and isn't he? People are going to look at yeah. his record oh, exactly. and write him yeah. off. Yeah, exactly. So looking at his record is a lot better than what his record does suggest. So a lot... Good shot there, you caught yeah. him there. Right, catch him high on the head. Yeah, yeah across the temple there. Beautiful shot there, and another one. We should go careful not to get reckless here, Valdez. It does make you wonder what, what kind of course goes turned up in his first few fights, you know, when he lost yeah. on the road. So he looks like a very accomplished fighter in there. Oh, he does, yeah. <laughs> Almost toying with Warby in that corner there. Working lovely behind the jab, keeping him where he wants him, not letting him off the ropes, controlling it well. Stepping across nice, they're just cutting off all Warburton's escape routes as well. So yeah, another body attack there. Really is unloading on that body tonight. Planting his feet, really driving those shots home. Every opportunity he can do. Good shot there. This is how you deal with a William Warburton. and you, you don't give him a single bit of a foothold in the fight. He's been on him since the start. He's put William back in his box, hasn't he? He has, yeah. So Warburton looks like he's in his shell here tonight. Um, one man seeing him just trying to get his own couple of shots off rather than on the back foot covering up. Um, but yeah, looking at the looking at the V players here. Look at his shots that Ivaldez is loading on him. Trap him on the, trap him on the corner, and every opportunity he can do, he's trying to sink those body shots in. He's, as you see, really loading up. Are you ready, are you ready to groan? Mm -hmm. Right. That at freelance Foz has been at it again, saying William should get through this okay tonight, providing he uses loaf. <laughs> He'll undoubtedly have earned his crust at the end of this. <laughs> uh, as, as bad as your reports, that Foz. <laughs> Corners, 10 seconds. Thank God he didn't come, otherwise we would have had about four hours of that. <laughs> seconds out, round three. 
Next, he'll be saying his nan's come watching. <laughs> and his girl. <laughs> yeah, let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs> be on Macaulay McGowan's Facebook in the morning if you keep going. <laughs> wonder if Williams just got to try and land something to put a bit of doubt in uh, Koskus's mind. Yeah. yeah. It, Go on, sorry. So, so, so far in the rounds, Robin's not really come back with much. We may give Alders think too much about it. There's been a lot of Alders on the front foot dictating the pace, dictating the punches. So the way Robin's come out in this, in this third round, throwing a bit more, looking like there's a bit more behind those shots. But... So as soon as I've said that, he's gone back into his shell, it's moving about a bit, so yeah. we, need, we need to see a bit more of that, really. Joe Pennington in the corner was calling to set it up with a jab and thrown overhand right, like a wild overhand right, just to give Ivala something to think about. And I think he might be right, you know, if Warburton lands a couple of shots, he might slow him down a little bit. Yeah. If he keeps going like this, it's just relentless work, both head and body. So second shot, you don't need to take. If he gives Ivala so much to think about back, Obviously, he's not he's taking the pressure off himself, but he's also giving himself a bit of a breather too. Obviously, those body shots do take the toll, especially those head shots as well, especially when they're loading up like what Avalis is doing so far. So he's taking unnecessary punishment really so far. Right there again. Oh, on the belt line, possibly a little bit lower. But you look how, how much confidence Ivalis has in himself. Yeah. Hands that low in the range he is. He's not exactly on the opposite side of the ring. He stood right in front of him, hands down, moving ahead. Yeah, it looks like he's, he's confident enough to stand there and try and draw a lead from William. This is so far, taking nothing away from Ivalis. Good, good, solid performance so far. So, Warburton well, is a tough kid to put in his shell like he was doing tonight. So, credit to Ivalis. Anyway, go on, Ryan. Seeing as though you've been good enough to join us on commentary, how are you feeling? No aches and pains after your fight? No, to be, to be fair, I feel, feel quite good. Obviously, arms a little bit heavy from the punching, a little bit of movement earlier on, obviously, in the ring. But yeah, feel, feeling good. How did, how did uh, all your team think when you got back to a change of move? Uh, same so, 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 so thoughts myself. Um, tough, tough kid at box, box tonight. Um, awkward to find his range. So his range was a lot longer than what we thought it would be. So I was stepping out of range, but somehow I was still in his range. It's land yeah. over the top. So watch on to a few in the first round and the third round. Um, to be fair, he did buzz me a little bit, but I felt recovered, stuck down the boxing yeah. a bit more, and obviously came back with a win on points. Yeah, it seems to us when you um, when you took the centre ring, you stayed out of your exchanges. You were well in your comfort zone there. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely. So there was a point, I can't remember if it was third or fourth round, where... Where the, where the guy just, just doing the corner, trying to wave me on. But to be fair, I didn't need to get up involved with him because that's when he was getting his success in there. When, when I was trying to get in range, I found I was getting a lot, well, to be fair, all of my success. It was when I was trying to draw him in with his shots, catch him over the top of the counter shots. It was a, bit, a little bit wild and erratic, the kid tonight. But I felt, I felt my boxing did a lot of the talking for me tonight. Yeah, boxed very well. Ryan got a points win earlier in the card. Been some good performances tonight. A couple of people, we said at the start of the show, but Corners this area seconds. is ready for people to grab it by the scruff of the neck and, you know, get the crowds back. There's been a few people on the build tonight who look like they do that. Second out, oh, yeah, definitely. Four. So they've all, been quite, they've all been quite close fights as well. So obviously, Conor Seymour early on, Carl Chadwick. Good, tough fights, to be fair. Just what, what, what people want to see. Yeah. They want, do want to see landslide victories. It, get, it, get, it does get a little bit old after a bit. When it's good at competitive boxing like it has been so far tonight, so it does it does draw the crowds in. It's been a good night of boxing. <laughs> Valdas Koskos doing his bit to keep that going right to the end of the night as well. Very good so far. All in hand as well. Even when he's there, Warburton just, just needs to stick that jab out. Might not land, but it makes him look busy in what he has rather than just covering up, encouraging Ivaldas forward. Keep him scat jab popping now, even little feints, little dips and slips. At least give, 
obviously, as I said earlier on, it does give Alice something to think about. Makes him look a little bit more busy as well. But at the minute, he's walking around the ring, covering up, taking shots on the gloves, taking him to the body. Avalos' work rate has just dipped a bit, hasn't it? I wonder if he's, he's just realised that William's likely going to be there for the long call and he's just taking his foot off the gas to face himself. Yeah, maybe. So he does work as picking the shots a bit more rather than running forward, trying to land every shot under the sun on him. So he's enjoying himself, picking his shots, trying to, trying to show off a little bit to the crowd, I think. So he's looking nice, flashy performance so far by Avalos. I've liked what I've seen so far from him. Beautiful shots there. Two uppercuts on the inside of that body. He does pick his body shots well, doesn't he? Oh, he does, yeah. So he does, he does sit down, sinks him in. So he knows well, when he's down there, he's got to make the most of it when he's down there. It's not often he can unload on the bottom and put his body like he has done tonight. And Bayel is making him wobble and pay for having those elbows out, being open down the middle tonight. See, the pace has dropped a little bit here. Wonder if Valdez is getting a breather for the next, the final rounds. Yeah. Yeah, William's just gone into his shell. He's just trying to negate him, isn't he? Yeah, it does, does look a little bit. So he's up, he's just sat on the ropes, take what's coming at him. Obviously, come back with a little bit when Valdez is finished, but. So he's now really come back at Valdez, he's troubled him so far. For no how of William Warburton there, he, a couple of really tough rounds, but just drew the sting away there completely. Mm. You can tell by the reaction of the crowd, can't you? Yeah. All the drama just got taken out of the fight in that round. Yeah. And there's not many people that can do it as well, if anyone, as well as William Warburton. We've seen it time and time again. People go and have a go and realise that they could do it all night, but he's going nowhere and best to just stick behind that jab and get the rounds under your belt. Yeah. Couple of rounds left tonight. Really good card so far. Corners, ten seconds. Second out, round five. Set, really settled down now, Valdez. Just happy to keep it in range with that jab. Yeah. So he's not loading up as much. He's happy to go for the movements with him. So he's not loading up, but he can he can still feel the shots he's doing out. There is a lot behind him, but it's good to see him nice to relax, just working behind his box in there, trying to set those big shots so I could do there. Yeah, and when he does set it up, he looks frightening. He did it against Chris Jenkins and set him up beautifully on the ropes and landed that shot. And yeah. Chris was out for a long time. Oh, I was, yeah. That shot. So it's never nice to see no. uh, boxes like, like that on the floor. Um, but yeah, as well, you could see Avalos trying to work that all, in all night. And obviously, when it came off, boy, did it come off. A beautiful shot down the pipe. Heads coming together there on the ropes. No damage done though, thankfully. No. Oh, lovely work again. Yeah, that's all he needs to do with Alders, get in the range, land three or four shots, then get back out of there. So his, his skill set tonight has been absolutely superb. Textbook boxing so far from him. Not taking hardly any shots. Getting in there, landing his own. Defense, defensively is sound. 
Okay, he's taking a lot of shots on the gloves, moving about, moving ahead, working his angles. And obviously, making making Warbler and Pear when he do, when he is throwing his shots. Yeah, he's shown a, he's shown aggression, but he's also shown sound defensive skills as well, hasn't he? He's shown a little bit of everything tonight. Yeah, he has. Yeah. And uh, looking at him in fantastic condition, you oh, doubt he's he ever yeah. going to be found wanting for stamina, is he? No, nah, definitely not. So yeah, looking up from now, Valdez looks like he's hardly breathing in this in this fifth round. It's been a good pace set from him as well. So he's dictated the pace all the way through this fight. Putting Warburton in exactly where he wants him, getting the shots off. I'm assuming what he's been working on in camp. Unload on now on the ropes. Warburton's second him. He's done well seconds, to be fair to him. But yeah, it's another Valdez round. Job's nearly done, isn't it? Ah, it is. Three more minutes. This is that combination on the ropes, isn't it, that landed earlier? Seems to find so, gaps in the guard of war, yeah. quite easily. And not many people can do that. Yeah, exactly. So when you look at it, there's... He was just tap. throwing shots away, weren't he? Yeah, it is, yeah. So, yeah, so when he's trap on the ropes, there, he's tapping without leading back hand over his head. Waits for his elbows to come up to defend his head, and as well as dropping them big body shots in downstairs. Beautiful boxing so far from Ivaldez. See if he can keep it together in this last round. Yeah, and it's not what you expect when you see someone with the record Ivaldez has, but Corners, it's certainly seconds. a lot better than his record suggests. Oh, definitely, it's been a masterclass tonight. Second down for your sixth and final round. And John mentioned it earlier, but if you want to see the blueprint of how to beat these journeymen comfortably, it's exactly, you've got to put it on them early and yeah. show, make them respect you and then you can use your jab and yeah, have an yeah. easy night's work. Here we are, final round of the night. It's been a good night here at uh, York, uh, Hull City Hall. I nearly said York then, <laughs> for some reason. So definitely, yeah, some good quality boxing, brilliant atmosphere as well. To be fair, I, I can't remember the last show where they want a decent atmosphere in Hull. So the fans, fans here love love the spot, really get behind the burn fighters. And obviously the away card as well. So you hardly get any booing or jeers from them. It's a good night all around from the boxing and the fans. I wonder if Avaldis will try and go out with a bang or whether he'll just stay safety first now and just get... He's, He's, he's won the fight, the yeah, fight's in definitely. his hands. Yeah. I just wonder what he'll seek to do. Nice yeah. little change of stepping around there, looking to get the left to a pit of a yeah. stomach. Yeah, if he does step, I won't be surprised if it's for the last minute, so. Oh, even here. So you know what? he's really showing his skills off tonight. Nice light on the feet, good head movement, picking his shots beautifully. So he's done his job, he's enjoying himself in there now. Good shot there. Good shot again, still working those body shots, and even in this last round, it's been consistent so far. Good shot at the top there. He's having a lot of success still, Korskis. Oh, yeah, it seems like everything is so in his landing with. So far, don't get me wrong, is Robert is defending well, taking a lot on the gloves to the edge, but that body, is that enough taking a beating snout to the body? <laughs> Loaded up that big left hand. It's not been a good way for William Warburton to celebrate his 31st. <laughs> Talk about birthday bumps. He's had a few tonight. <laughs> it's like being in the gym when it's your birthday. It's <laughs> terrible. You know. oh, he's looking at Valdez. He used, used to pray it was on a Sunday. He's out of the shirt button out of Valdez. Really is enjoying himself in there. Beautiful shots.
There we go. Very, very good yeah. performance there from Avaldas Koskas, bringing an end to the night's action. We know he's won, but we'll get the official result from Michael Pass. We'll grab a few words with Avaldas. And thank you for watching. That is him setting up the shots again and then going to the body. We talk about it. Talked about it all night and, and that was spot on again. Lovely work. As the referee brings the two boxes together, here's Michael Pass with the official result. Thank you, Luke. From Charmadera. Our last contest has been scored by Mr. Alexander. 60 points to 54 points. For your winner, hailing from Hall of Valdez, Cossacas. And a fine effort for a young man closing in on 200 contests, ladies and gentlemen, William Warburton. That was Ryan. Oh, it was, yeah. So dominant from first round all the way through. So it was good, consistent pace all the way through as well. There's only that one round, I think it was round four or five, where he, where he stepped off a little bit. But even then, he was dictating the pace. Warburton having very little success. And it's a very good, good, convincing performance there from Ivaldez. Once again, improving all the time, looking nice, relaxed, enjoying his boxing in there. Yeah, and he's still got that central area title, hasn't he? And he'll be looking to defend that soon. And he would have been a good defence tonight, actually, against William Warburton. And it's a shame that that couldn't be made over 10 rounds. And just while we wait for Ivaldez to finish taking his photos, we'll see a few more clips from that dominant display. And I think Warburton struggled to land a punch all night. Oh, he did, yeah. I think he landed on one hand. <laughs> the amount of clean punches he landed on Ivaldez. So as well as the offensive... Um, display with soft Mival is his defensive was just as good, if not better. So those those shots were taken on the gloves, those angles, the head movement was absolutely perfect tonight. Yeah, and I'm surprised Warburton didn't touch the canvas at all with those body shots that were landing. You know, over six rounds, it's a long time oh, yeah. thrown to the body. So they definitely do take the toll, and as, as I say, Warburton did absorb them quite well. So the one that weren't just glancing his elbows either, there was really flush power shots into his ribs, into his sternum. Did really well to take him and come back with the odd punch every now and again as well. Yeah, and he set him up nicely as well. He didn't go body hunting once he had that success. Ah, nah. So he's working his shots and all, all the time. So a couple of taps to the head, opens that body up. Textbook boxing from Ivaldez tonight. Yeah. Said it, I've said it about five times, but <laughs> there's no other way to describe it tonight. Brilliant tonight. And you mentioned it as well, touching to the head as well. He wasn't putting a lot behind those shots to no, the head no. when they were on the ropes. So that, that, that's all it is, just tapping his head, making that guard come up. Once his elbows come up, he really is unloading on their body. And we saw in the last couple of rounds, they're changing those angles as well to open up that target. Brilliant footwork, brilliant punches from Mavalis tonight. Mavalis is still taking photos in there. I think we're going to grab him. I think, maybe not, I don't know. I hope so. No, he's getting undressed again. <laughs> I think he could do another six, to be fair. I think he could. Looks like he's hardly breathing at you know that fight. Yeah, he, he set such a high pace, but he still didn't look like he was he's out no. of breath at all throughout. No. Right, here we go. No, he's having no, more photos. Not. He loves it, doesn't he? <laughs> he does, yeah. Well, to be fair, he wouldn't. Here we go. There we go. John will finally get to speak to Avaldis about that performance. Congratulations, Avaldis. Another win, and this run of yours continues. Where does it go next? Then on Marcel, June 16, Manchester. Def t t title defence. You're calling him out, Denton Marcel, or is this all agreed? Uh, just, just agreed. Yeah. That's a really good fight. Now, William Warburton is usually a very good opponent, very dangerous. He's beaten some good people, but you made it look comfortable today. Train hard. That's all, all I've done. See? Train hard, make it easy. Yeah, train hard, fight easy. Yeah, yeah. 
and people can next see you on June the 16th in Manchester. Yeah, yeah. I'll book a coach, 50 seat of coach, so who, who bought a ticket will be on the coach both ways. Well done, Evaldas. Good luck. Well, there we go, and that concludes the night of boxing for here in Hull. Some fantastic performances. Ryan alongside me looked good tonight. Zisha and Khan, Levi Giles, and all of them, to be fair, they, they all look good in there. Thanks to all the commentators for joining us. Next up for us, a little bit of a wait, May the 5th. Lyndon Arthur, Charlie Schofield, Jack Flatley, plenty of talent. Kane Gardner as well. That's at the Victoria Warehouse in Manchester. And then a week later, <laughs> back at the Echo Arena for Steve Brogan fighting for the Central Area title. It's about time he won that. He's deserved titles for a long time and he'll be fighting for that one. Thanks for everyone joining us and we'll see you in Manchester. <laughs>